Oh, oh my. That oh. is Taco Tuesday. Oh my goodness. Extreme there. Oh. That is violent. <laughs> oh. God damn. <laughs> Well, now it's settling oh, down. Right. That's like when you first sat on the toilet and it just lets all loose. over your face. Oh, wow. <laughs> Welcome to Hoobie's Garage, the dumbest automotive channel in all of YouTube. And we are in my 1989 Lamborghini Countach 25th Anniversary Edition that I bought out of a two Lamborghini package deal from an eccentric doctor who lived on a dirt road uh, not too far from my house. And it was such a great deal, but the cars have been sitting for a very, very long time. It turned out that Diablo, the 97 VT Roadster, was way more needy than the Countach. It's been up in the Wizards for the past few months now, waiting on repairs. I rebuilt steering racks, some sticky button fixes, and a bunch of servicing that will happen when those parts get back. And the Countach has been more or less the reliable sorted car, despite the fact that it had been sitting mostly for seven or eight years since the previous owner bought it. He only drove it 150 miles in seven or eight years. And the big worry that I have is I don't think the oil was ever changed on this car. So low miles, but a long time on the oil. Since the Diablo is still gonna be a while, probably a couple weeks before it's back on the road, and I continually drive this Countach regularly, I've probably put 200 miles on it since I've got it, more than the last seven or eight years. I'm pretty worried about that oil change interval. So today we're gonna to head up to the Weezers to do an oil change on the Countach, and we're also going to do one on the Murcielago because it's been a year, or almost, since the Wizard sorted it out. So let's get to the Wizards and change a lot of oil. A lot. Hello, Wizard. What's going on? Well, I didn't want to put this one off any longer. I've driven it two or three hundred miles, which is more than it's been driven in the last seven or eight years. Seven or eight years? And it hasn't had an oil change in that time. No oil change in seven or eight years. Not that I know of. Well, it's high time to do it now. Certainly. Yeah, I was going to wait until the Diablo was done, uh, but it's been taking so long, the rebuild on the rack and then also the uh, sticky button repair. So I was putting this one off, but we can at least do an oil change so I can have that peace of mind, but there's still other things to sort out, like the climate control, that kind of stuff. And uh, yes. Mercy Lago, have it up today because it's been a year since you've got it going again, so it's time for its annual service. Awesome. And I guess we can compare three generations of Lamborghini V12s. They're probably pretty similar. Uh, but it's going to take a lot of a lot of that today, a huh? Lot. Like nine, ten quarts, something like that. Uh, it's a lot more for this. It's like twelve or fifteen or sixteen. Whoa. Okay. Well, we got some draining to do. Yes, the mighty V12, and certainly the scariest looking of the three, with all of the the lines going everywhere. The two Bosch mechanical fuel injected things leading to this, the intake. Mm -hmm. These are the Jetronic fuel distributors. Yeah. As we move on to the newer models of Lambos you have, we're going to see it get tidier and cleaner and more artistic. Yes. This looks like a spaghetti mess. Spaghetti, it is a spaghetti mess. Literally spaghetti. It runs very well, though. Oh, it's, I know. It it's does. all working. Yes. It's just kind of scary when it, when it doesn't. But we'll get it up in the air and the wing can, can take flight. This is the coolest Countach in the world because it has skateboard wheels for a bumper guard yeah. and axles. It's like Tony Hawk edition. But uh, very, very basic under here. Although the really weird part is the fact that this is the transmission, which is in front of the engine and it's not all wheel drive. There's like a drive shaft or a torque tube going through the engine, basically. Yep, to the final drive here, which is where the CV shafts are located. And this engine is not dry sump. No. It just has a gigantic oil pan, yeah, it's which is this. And that's where the 12 quarts live, you said? Yeah, more than that. That's a lot of 16, oil. 16, 17, oh. somewhere around in there. Yeah. Well, we'll see how much comes out. You got enough room in there? I think so. It's going to come spewing out pretty. Boom. Oh, yeah. Look, this oil is as old as your YouTube career. <laughs> it is. Is that looking like seven-year-old oil wizard? It actually does. It looks fairly clean for the age. It just wasn't driven, that's the thing. It's tingling. Yeah, it's going to take a while to tinkle out. I guess we can look at the Diablo in the meantime. Yes. It takes the same oil as the Countach, right? Yep. yep. And about the same amount. I think it's a little less, but a not... A little less? Those take a lot. Yes, but uh, the evolution of the Lamborghini V12, it's pretty impressive. The generational jump in the fit and finish of the engine bay. 
and this is a VT Roadster so that top can fit onto the to the bonnet but look at this everything's covered up and it just looks so pretty so much better yes I'm not sure if it's more reliable but it just looks like it's presented better more artistic that's for sure certainly is Everything's more tidy, more compact, more clean. It just really looks better. But once you get the steering rack back, you'll be doing the exact same thing. All the fluids, both these cars have been sitting for a very, very long time. But Definitely. we're getting close to getting this one back together. Yes, yes. It's, it's still tinkling over there. I can hear it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's like in the restroom for a long time. Yes, it's like... Uh, it's like Austin Powers waking up from the cryo freeze, right? Oh, yeah, it just goes. And evacuation goes. come, evacuation come. All right, the evacuation is complete. Finally. And it was a lot, huh? Yes. It was half full, and now it's three quarters full. So how much is that? Sixteen or seventeen quarts. It's, okay. it's a lot. So you have to take a plate off to reach it. I just have to move this little heat shield so it can fit out the bottom. Because the exhaust is right there. Yeah. But they're not bad. This is a very simple oil change, other than the quantity of fluid, right? Yeah, I think it's a, a frequent comment on the, the Countach. is as complex as they are, and as complex as, as complex as it looks in the engine bay, the oil change is actually not too bad. Squeeze. It's a boy. <laughs> okay. Well, this is a relief. Yes. Every time I drove this, I was thinking, why am I driving this thing with eight-year-old engine oil? Mm-hmm. I'll let it dribble, and then I'll uh, put the new one on and clean up the mess. Okay. All clean? Yep. Let me get the other filter ready. I'm admiring these Italian welds here. <laughs> that was done on a Friday, uh, 3 o'clock <laughs> in the afternoon. That's, uh, that's Lamborghini quality for you in the 80s. <laughs> Definitely. I'm sure it's functional. Yeah, yeah, it is. It would have been broke by now if it wasn't. Oh, you lube in the seal. Down she goes. Zeno Bertone. Yes. Well, other than the long wait for the evacuation, it's... It's finally really over. Really easy. Yeah, it's really not too bad on these. Three down, one more going in. And how many to go? So this, after I get this one poured in, that will be 16. 16 quarts? Yep. Out of how much? 18. It's 17.5 liters, which is about 18 quarts. Goodness gracious. Why does that surprise me every time, even though I've asked you like four times in this video? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it just it doesn't make any sense. That's what it is. Wow. wow. One, two, three, four and a half gallons. Yes. Holy moly. Let me start her up. Yeah, let me put the cap on. Time for some Lambo yoga. Ugh. Lambo yoga. Okay. I'm in. See Daisy. There goes the oil pressure. Coming in. Okay. Oh, that buzzer. Shush. Shush, you. Shush. You're wondering what that tapping is. Magic Mike over there is tapping some some uh, Corvette torque tube. This is a working shop wizard. Yep. How'd you do? Right below the full mark. Nice. Can you give it a splash or no, leave it be? No, leave it be. Leave it alone. Perfect. You're perfect yep. on the first yep. go around. It's a little, almost at midway, maybe three quarters, and just leave it alone. All right. Well, I'll take this one home and bring back the Mercy Roadster. All right. You haven't seen it in a while. I haven't. That's a good thing. That's a good thing, yes. Yeah. Well, now I have peace of mind not having that ancient oil in there. I can actually do pulls in this car now without wincing. Yes. Oh, it's so good. I love this car, even though I don't fit in it. I can't imagine selling it, even though I probably should sell one of the Lambos. But maybe I can get by getting rid of a couple of other hoopties. In my 2006 Liberty University Logo Roadster. <laughs> way, way faster than the Countach. Way more comfortable. No Lambo Yoga in this car. 
so much fun. It has been a great year with this car after a lot of a lot of heartburn to get it running again, a lot of money. Oh, it's been worth it. I don't want to get rid of this one either. Wizard! That was quick. Some more Texas tea yeah. for the Murcia Lago. Yeah. The third generation of V12, well, fourth generation, the Mira. I'll never get within 50 feet of a Mira, probably. <laughs> but it uh, definitely looks a lot cleaner and tidier, even more so yet. I suppose, but the Diablo, you can't see any of this, this wiring or hoses or any of that kind of stuff. They have it all covered in plastic. Right. So there's a little more of that, and then of course the uh, cage around the engine. So it is different. I feel like it's a little step backwards where that looks like sculpture. It does. And this looks like an engine, but it looks like a very, very pretty engine. I don't know. Which one do you like the best? The Diablo. The Diablo? Yes. Me too, I think. Not touching anything? Nope. No touch on the bodywork. Hate to put another hole in it, huh? No, no more holes. I don't ever want to do that again. <laughs> okay. Well, let's examine your handiwork a year later. Yes. There was a crack on this transmission we got from the junkyard. The original one was bad, and... Your repair, the flex seal didn't work. The flex seal didn't work, but I did put some silicone sealant over that and it, it's working. Yes, yeah, just a little micro fracture, totally dry. And then the hole is somewhere up here where nobody will ever see. No, nope. no one will ever know. And the tub isn't cracked or ruined or any of that kind of stuff from driving. It's nope. it's still fine. It's still fine. Yeah. And looking, looking dry, see a little seepage here, I guess, from, yeah. what is that? I think it's from this little guy. I'll put it, see if it needs to be tightened or snugged up. It's probably just the copper washer. Oh, okay. The wind's blowing this like that. Easy enough. No big deal at all there. But definitely a much smaller oil pan on this one. Yeah, this one's a 12 quart oil change. This is not 17 or 8. It's not like a whole tanker truck full of oil. But it's got a tank, so it's a dry sump? Yeah, so these lines go up to the tank. Okay. But when we open these two drain plugs, which is different than the Countach. This has two drain plugs. Mm. All the, everything that's in the tank, everything will empty out into here. Lovely. And the oil filter's just right here. Yeah. Nothing to take off. Huh? Nice and easy. It's very similar on your Diablo, too. Hmm. Easy oil changes on these cars. Yes. Okie dokie. Well, the nearly year-old oil looks about the same as the Eight-year-old oil. Yeah, actually, this is a little darker. This probably has a lot more miles on it than the uh, the Countach did. So there's the two drains I mentioned here that drains the sump. But there's also one more. There's a third. Ah. It's right here, the actual tank itself. Oh. Okay. Where you drain that? Three holes. This is a three-holer, not a one-holer. Interesting. Yes. So it's much more, much more human. <laughs> Oh, oh my, that is Taco Tuesday. Oh my goodness. Extreme there. Oh, that is violent. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> it's spraying everywhere. Well, now it's settling oh, down. All right. That's like when you first sat on the toilet it's and it just lets all loose. all over your face. Oh, wow. <laughs> it thoroughly got you. That's like right when you first sat on the toilet and... Yes, yes, charming. Oh, wow. So this one's slightly more involved, but still not hard. Yeah. Just entertaining though. It is. Uh, so your two oil changes today have gone from halfway full to completely full. Brim the tank. Yes. And that filter, you're just gonna hand it off? Yep. Nice. Well, Wizard's already wizard strength, the new filter on. It so is on, yes. Down she goes for some fresh oil, mm -hmm. Texas tea. The filling will be different on this one. Wizard, going to clean before insertion here. It's uh, your your wizard pipe. Uh, a saxophone. So you're pulling the dipstick. Yes. That is a significant dipstick there. It's metal. You could whip someone with this thing. Oh, I'm sure you have. <laughs> no. Okay, so this one is a little more complicated. If you did not have that funnel... It would be troublesome. Yes. We're going to put about 9 quarts, 9 or 10 quarts in, and we're going to start it. Have you been a bad boy? Wizard? <laughs> well, I can see not nearly as much oil used 
on the Mercy Lago. No, not nearly as much. Oil pressure. All right, one more dipstick play. Yep, let it sit for about 30 seconds and we'll check the fluid level. All right. Row, row. Nothing, which is good. We didn't overfill it, so time to add the rest. I'll sit for this one in case you need to add more. Okay, sounds good. Look at my fin plate. My bolognese, Italy. Bolognese, that's, that's pretty good stuff to eat. Mm hmm. Okay, we're up to the bottom level of the first mark there. So, okay. go ahead and add the rest. One more time. All right. So, it's halfway between add and full. Wonderful. Perfect. That's good enough for me. Yeah, it says it takes 12 quarts, and that's exactly what we put in it, full 12 quarts. Wonderful. Well, there are certainly a few quirks when it comes to Lamborghini oil changes, one of them being a lot of oil. Uh, weird filling procedures. Uh, the Countach, simpler car, though. Way, way simpler. Way simpler. So if you had to get rid of one, which one would it be? For me, because of my size, I would get rid of the Countach. The Countach, really? Yeah, because of my size, I don't think I would fit in it very good. Oh, I don't fit in it either, but it's it's so awesome. It is. It's an awesome car. Uh, and then which one? You, if you only kept one, which one would you keep? The Diablo. Really? Yes. You like the Diablo that I much? I love the Diablo. I really haven't experienced one because that one's kind of in a broken state even when I bought it. It was still mobile. So I really don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll be able to hang on to all of them. Probably not, but I will need to unload some hoopties if I'm keeping these three. Right. So we'll see. Thank you for watching oil change. You got a bill? I do. <laughs> Always. Always.